more than 1,500 British forces personnel from across the Navy, Army and RAF will take centre stage tomorrow at the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton. Hundreds of thousands of people will descend on central London and the eyes of the world will be watching on television as events unfold at Westminster Abbey, the Mall and Buckingham Palace. But the grandeur of the big day will be largely down to the military involvement and the roles they'll be playing. Claire Sadler has more. Kate Middleton was deep in rehearsals today ahead of the much-anticipated royal wedding. The next time she sets foot inside Westminster Abbey, it'll be to walk down the aisle for real. And it'll be a wedding full of pomp and ceremony, much of that provided by the armed forces. The eyes of the world will be on those taking part. Around 1,130 are from the Army, 175 from the Royal Navy and 195 from the RAF. And they'll be involved in everything from the music to lining the streets. The Coldstream Guards is one of six bands taking part aside from the state and fanfare trumpeters. It's the RAF fanfare trumpeters that have the honour of sounding a brand new piece of music after the bride and groom have signed the wedding register. Not many people are actually going to be able to be inside the church apart from selected guests. Um, it's great for, for my career within the Air Force, it's going to be a fantastic achievement, um, it's going to be a real honour to be there. Perhaps one of the most spectacular sights on the day will be the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment. Around 140 horses and riders will escort the newly married couple and Her Majesty the Queen along the processional route from Westminster Abbey to Buckingham Palace. Oh, it's a massive, massive opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime thing, there's not many royal weddings and a lot of cavalrymen have passed out and had a chance to do something like that, so it'd be good to do. As the happy couple make their way to Buckingham Palace, their route will be lined by nearly 900 members of the armed forces. The title for fastest preparations for the royal wedding goes to 1st Battalion, the Irish Guards. Having only just returned from Afghanistan, they've been rehearsing during every spare minute for their role as the Queen's Guard on the day. Yeah, so it's a great honour. Uh, Prince William's recently taken over as the, the Colonel of the regiment. So it's a, it's a great honour to, to represent our regiment and our colonel's uh, wedding day, um, but it's, it's just great to be there. Everyone enjoys a wedding. And at exactly half past one, seven aircraft, four fast jets and three from the Battle of Britain Memorial flight will perform a fly-past over Buckingham Palace as the happy couple keep tradition and appear on the palace balcony. Claire Sadler, Forces News. Well, let's go live to Camp Bastion and our reporter Tristan Nichols. Uh, Tristan, will personnel on duty there be able to see the wedding? Absolutely, yes. Uh, three Mercy, in which mentors of the Afghan National Army will be hosting a royal wedding party at Camp Tombstone, which adjoins Camp Bastion. Around 200 guests, including members of the ANA and the US Marine Corps, will attend uh, watching the event on television screens. At the Task Force Hellman headquarters in Lashkagar, the camp's dinner hall will be decked out with bunting. Service personnel will be offered non-alcoholic champagne and food. Smaller patrol bases will also be organising their own events using a bits and pieces sent out from family members. All right, Tristan Nichols and Camp Bastion, thank you very much for that.